Welcome back to PSC's Tech Bytes. Today we talk about how we can use Microsoft Graph to invite users to our Azure Active Directory tenants and to our Microsoft 365 workloads. In order to do that, we simply need to rely on the invitations endpoint of Microsoft Graph, making a POST request with a JSON content which will define the invitation. It is a topic that we already covered in episode 168, but today we will dig into it a little bit more and we will see advanced scenarios like, for example, inviting a user with a custom text message in the email that we will send out to the user, or having a CC a list of recipients in the invitation, configuring the culture code of the invitation email, and eventually using a technique to reset the email address of the invited user without changing the actual user ID in Azure Active Directory. All of this stuff can easily be done using Microsoft Graph. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in practice. This is the official documentation page of Microsoft Graph about how you can invite a user into your tenant. And right now in this demo, we are going to use the beta endpoint to have much more functionalities available in the invitation procedure. First of all, I have an application that I registered in my target Azure ID tenant. This is my application. And in the API permissions, I granted the user.invite.all application level permissions to my app because I'm going to do the invitation with an app only token. Then using Postman, here we have a request for the beta endpoint of Microsoft Graph, as you can see right here, targeting the invitations endpoint. And I make a post request, providing in the content of my post request, all of the settings about the invitation. So for example, I can configure a custom display name for the user that I'm inviting. I will have to provide an email. And right now I'm going to create a 10 minute email. So let me search for it, 10 minute email. So it will be a really shortly available one, which I'm going to use for the sake of this demo. And once I have this email, I will paste the value right here in the JSON of my request message. Here we are. Then I don't want to reset the redemption, but I could use it if I want to reset the email address associated with an already existing user. I want to send an email message to the target user. The message, just for the sake of making an example, will be in Italian language. Here you can provide the culture code that you like. And I will have a bunch of CC recipients for my invitation. Right now I will CC just my local email account in the dev tenant that I have. Then I also specify the customized body of the request, meaning that the invitation email will get inside its body this specific message. Well, actually this is in English and I selected the Italian language, but doesn't really matter. And then I have the invitation redirect URL, which is the URL where the user will be redirected after accepting my invitation. So let me save this invitation. In the authorization of this request, I already configured an access token, which is the one I've got using that specific application. This is the access token that I've just retrieved. And here you can see in the roles, I have the user.invite.all. So let's go back to Postman and let's send the invitation out to the target user. As you can see, it takes a while and then I will get back a JSON response, which will represent the output of the invitation. And here you can see that we have a recap of the data that we provided, as well as if I will go back to my browser, in my inbox, I will have an invitation because I am CC'd in the invitation and this is the actual target user. If I go to the 10 minute email, I should be able to see that I have an invitation right here. Here it is, I can click on it and I can see my invitation. So now let me open a browser in uh, um, guest mode so that we can play with this invitation. So let me do that. Let me open a guest mode and let me copy this URL in the guest mode. Copy link address and go here and use it. So I'm going to accept the invitation from the target tenant. 
In order to do that, I will get from Azure Active Directory a temporary access code which will be sent to me by email. So let's click on the send code and let's wait for the code to show up in the inbox of the 10 minute email. And here it is. So I can click on it, I can get my temporary code and I can go back here and sign in. And whenever the guest user will sign in, we'll always have uh, to go through this authentication process with a custom uh, code, which will be a one-time password. Now I'm logged in. I have to accept to access the target tenant and to become a user of the target tenants. And once I will accept the invitation, I will be redirected to the redirect URL. It should be a matter of few seconds. And okay, eventually this will be the site where I will target the user. Here you can also see that in the email address, I also have the welcome message that I configured before. Now, if we go to the users of my tenant, while the actual user we have right here is with this really weird email, but in my tenant, I configured a user with a different name, which was John White. And as you can see here, I have this John White, which is associated with this email address, which is the one I used from the 10 minute email. So you have the capability to invite a user, you have the capability to provide a custom display name for that user, and you can specify a custom message with a custom culture code for your message. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you. Thank <music> you.